Hello and welcome to Coming Who in episode two. I'm joined here with Bricks again. And Hi. today we are going to talk about another PCB design we did. This one. And this is actually a really nice space hoon, but as a PCB. And if you put all the parts together, it actually turns into a glowing, hypnotizing <laughs> RGB hoon. Pretty nice. So Briggs, what is this? What is the purpose of this chicken? The purpose of this chicken is just to look fun and teach you some soldering. And once you're done soldering, you have something to show, something nice, something fun. It's something cool you, where you can practice your soldering skills on. So you put this together yourself. We will sell this uh, as a kit, more on that later. Um, and then you can just pin it to your hoodie like I did here. Uh, it's basically like a nice little accessory. It's really great for like hacker conferences and stuff. And it just looks nice and you made it yourself. If you want to make your own PCBs like we did, these are actually produced by JLC PCB and they sponsored this video. So you can head to jlcpcb.com where you can get 10 by 10 centimeter PCBs for just $2 for five pieces. All you have to do is click on quote now and upload your Gerbers. I already did that here where you can see the final space moon pin that is currently produced by them. And yeah, we've only had good experience with them in the past, so we can definitely recommend them and they have been a great help. So if you want to get your own PCBs, head to jlcpcb.com. Now, let's talk a bit about how you made these. Can you show us the project? Yes. It's not really um, more colors that we use, but we used the existing colors and layers that are in a PCB. I got the drawing of the Space Hand logo and removed lots of colors and uh, or compressed colors to make sure I was uh, only needing just a few colors and then dedicated each color to a specific layer. So this is just the bare substrate of the PCB. And then we have copper and we have some silk screen. So and that way this I could is, layer all those items. This is not actually a multicolor PCB, even though it looks like it. It's like a normal PCB you can just order, right? What you yes. did is you took um, the Space Hoon logo that I gave you as an SVG and basically said this piece of the logo is this kind of layer on the PCB because a PCB is made of or out of like different layers. The and I got the uh, SVGs from you and then I decided, okay, this is going to be pretty on this layer because I had some experience with it already and I have some PCBs laying around. I could make the decision, okay, this is going to be on this layer. It's going to be on the other layer. And I have to say, they turn out really, really well. They look just fantastic. And then, of course, to make it a uh, nice badge with some components on them, we made use of the back so that the artwork is not uh, disturbed. All of the traces are specifically out of the way, so as few traces as possible showing in the front. We have the on-off switch with just about bigger pads just to make sure it's easier to solder. Nice through-hole components with just a few connections so you don't have to put as much heat in them to have the solder flowing nice and clear battery holder so you can easily see where the plus and minus is we have the safety brush pin with just two holes so you don't have to heat up a large area which is gonna make it really hard to solder um, we added specifically plus and minus at, at the leds together with the long lead and the short lead so it's easy to find which lead is the positive lead and which one is the negative lead and to reduce the brightness a bit of the leds we um, added a resistor and you can add the resistor uh, on here and then it will reduce the brightness a bit and if you don't want to reduce the brightness maybe stefan you could show the difference between brightness but if you don't want the dimmed version you can just bridge this uh, Bad. So this is one that doesn't have a resistor sorted on or has it bridged essentially. Um, this is one that has a resistor on it. So they, the LEDs don't actually require resistors. Those LEDs, um, they fade by themselves. There's no microcontroller or anything involved. You just give them free volts. They just happily take it um, and just go RGB slowly fading through all of their colors. However, they are a bit bright as you can see. 
So we decided we make this small um, SMD resistor. Um, so you can use this to learn a bit about SMD soldering. It's a 1206 packaged um, resistor, so it's relatively big and, and easy to get started. But, you know, if you have troubles with that, you can just still bridge it and decide not to take it. I think that's that's like one of the things we decided on just to make it more beginner friendly because adding a through hole resistor would be kind of screwing up the artwork on the front. So, um, yeah. Also, because Briggs mentioned it before, um, you need, uh, yeah, you need a lot of heat to solder on the, the safety pin. This is how it looks in the end. Um, this is actually one of our older revisions where the, the copper pads didn't align with the holes in the pin, um, which is why we are making on a, making a new version and currently waiting on it to arrive. Um, but yeah, this is not like a typical component you would solder. You just basically add a bunch of solder and hope that it sticks uh, because that's all it has to do, stick on the PCB. It is not an electronic component or anything. And if you have trouble soldering it on, there will be a hole here so you can put it on a lanyard or something. Uh, as well in case you have problems with that. So we really try to put as much effort into every little detail on, on the silk screen and on this PCB in general to make it as beginner friendly as possible. If you have any suggestions, feel free to let us know. Maybe we can approve on a, a second revision. And every individual item will be in the kit you'll need. And what are the things that don't come with the kit that you'll still need to solder it? Right, so um, we will sell these uh, Coming, coming soon, coming soon. Uh, <laughs> they come in a kit. Uh, all the components are in here. A little like business card is in here. That's not actually a business card, but uh, shows you how to solder, gives you some tips. It also comes with a sticker. And of course the PCB. Um, what else you need? Well, you need a soldering iron. You need some solder. And um, a tw tweezers are also recommended just so you can, so you can hold the safety pin in place because, because this will get really hot. Also, the SMD resistor here uh, will be easier to solder if you have tweezers. So yeah, all in all, it's a very simple design. I really hope you like it. We plan to sell these as kits, as mentioned. We might also offer a pre-soldered version. If anyone is interested in that, please let us know in the comments if you are looking forward to this product. Um, we don't have it right now because, as mentioned, we are waiting on the new PCBs. Um, so this is just a preview. Uh, Briggs showed you the final version uh, in KiCad before. All of this will be open source. When we release it, there will be a GitHub link in the description as well as a link to the store where you can buy it. Um, but if you are curious now, you can head to spacehoon.store where we sell all our gear. Uh, currently, it includes the new Diorfa Andromeda, which is released now. So yeah, you can finally get it. And here is where you will also find the Space Hoon pin once it's out. If you don't want to miss out on new products that are coming out, be sure to subscribe to our email newsletter uh, or subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, that's at Space Hoon Tech. Um, or you can also join our Discord community um, to get in touch with us and other people. I, I hope everyone likes it. I uh, originally made this as a tiny surprise for Stefan, but uh, he liked it so much. Uh, he turned it so into a product. No, it's a product, so I, uh, I'm happy to see where this goes, and uh, actually, I hope people like it. We should give a shout out to Dave Darko because he actually designed a Space Hoon Blinky Badge pin before. I have it. I Why have wouldn't it. I have it? I always have it. I need to turn off my light. <laughs> this is the beautiful version of Space Hoon by Dave Darko. This is based on the old design, and this this was already pretty Im impressive. This beautiful. is also really well, beautifully made. I love this one. Still one of the nice blinkies I have. Both designs are pretty much the same. It's just battery, LED, on and off switch. Um, by the way, the batteries won't be included. You will need a CR2032 uh, standard coin cell battery. CR2025 will also work. It's just a normal three volt coin cell battery. We won't be able to include them because of shipping restrictions and we are also in the midst of a pandemic, so we don't want to add uh, any more troubles than we already have. For our friends in the US, we are teaming up with Cody Kinsey. You might know him from the Nullbyte YouTube channel or Security Forward or Hack5. 
He has his own store called Hacker Interchange, where you can soon buy some of our products as well, hopefully including the Spacehoon pin very soon. So if you are um, uh, based in the US, uh, be sure to check that out because currently we can't ship to the US. We only ship to Europe. So yeah, I really hope you like our little batch project, this little nice learn how to solder beginner friendly accessory. When this is released, of course, we will make a separate video uh, teaching you how to solder this step by step. So don't worry, this was just a brief overview of what we did, what we're working on and how we did it. And um, yeah, be sure to follow us to get notified uh, when this new video comes out. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye.